It's pretty hard to believe that we're only six days into the new year. You'd be forgiven if you thought we were already approaching the end of 2024. And in recent hours, an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX operating with service from Portland to Ontario suffered a significant decompression as the rear mid-cabin exit door separated from the aircraft during flight. Word of the incident first came to light following a post emerging on Reddit from a user in the aviation subreddit. This same user said that the seat next to the blowout was not occupied, but the sound was ferocious as expected. The Alaska Airlines incident occurred only briefly after the plane departed Portland. Data indicates that the specific variant impacted was the Boeing 737-9 with the registration of N704AL. This aircraft was actually only delivered to Alaska Airlines a handful of months ago. Flight Radar 24 data highlights that the 737-9 reached a maximum altitude of 16,000 feet before being forced to return to Portland. Portland. It was nowhere near maximum flying altitude. Alaska Airlines did publish a statement saying that they were aware of an incident aboard flight AS1282 to Ontario, and that when more information came to light, they would post this. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, also said they were aware that the plane arrived safely into Portland International at around 5pm local time, and now they are in the process of investigating. As part of this investigation, they will cooperate directly with Boeing suppliers Alaska Airlines and the National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB. All those on board the aircraft were able to disembark the 737 MAX safely upon it landing into Portland. Images and video from those on board showcase the sheer scale of damage and the evidence of just how perfectly as well the section of the aircraft came undone. It almost looks done to precision, as you would expect if this was to completely dislodge. Interestingly, several statements highlight this as a mere pressurization issue. However, the general public has certainly hit back at this, saying that they're very much downplaying what actually occurred. As cited by the reputable John from the Air Current, the photos that we're seeing circulate indicate this is the mid-aft door that's completely torn off. It is a door that passengers will more often than not be aware of thanks to it being deactivated during assembly. Most Boeing 7379s currently in service are in North America, specifically the United States. Alaska Airlines, for reference, already flies 65 of the type, so they therefore have a pretty high reliance on it for their operations. Meanwhile, United Airlines has 79 7379s in service. As for other operators, well, you've got Copper Airlines and Aero Mexico, which represent two of the other largest operators of the series thus far. As for what's next from this incident, well, time will tell. A thorough investigation will take place, and if action does need to be taken, well, the FAA will determine that. Thanks for watching, given the circumstances. Again, thankfully, everyone on board was safe, but let's try try and hope the industry calms down just a little bit after a very busy first week of not necessarily good things. And flight, and we'll fly.